whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see if I don't wheelie over off the start again. Well, I can hit the gate. It's pretty much just as bad. And time I try to go inside. Come on now. Well, I've been broadcasting for 15 minutes and just realized my mic was muted the whole time, so. Not one of the greatest moments. I was hitting that corner a lot better that time around than I did the last race, but I'm still sitting in 10, so. Yeah! <laughs> Patrell. Why is it always Patrell? So, anyway, if you're watching in on YouTube, this is the second uh, moto. I finished third in the first moto. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to skip through that, though, maybe. But if I leave it up, you're just going to watch me sit there and mouth off and maybe the audio from the game. But you're not going to get any talking audio because I've had my mic off the whole entire time since the moto. But thank you for joining. This is round four. Uh, I do, as far as the quality, I realize the quality is not the best. I do have uh, the internet being upgraded this week, so hopefully that will bring a lot better quality. And I also have a capture card on the way for my PC, so I'll start streaming through my PC in a new high quality webcam as well. And so hopefully with all that, I'll get that figured out and I'll be able to stream to a little better, higher quality and all. Uh, I've never really done anything like that before, so it's a little bit new to me. And so, but I did get what seemed to be pretty, pretty good equipment. You know, I didn't get the best because I'm not rich by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, technically, I'm just an in debt poor boy from Tennessee. And so, I'm in last on this track. Imagine that. I hate this track so bad. And this section right here. Online, man, I get b people blowing past me, and I cannot figure out how to how they do it. All I know is I can't stand the strike. Maybe in 22nd kind of proves that. Maybe I'm not good at talking and racing this game. I don't know, but I feel like I usually do okay. That was not the way I wanted to go through that section, but we can do a lap and a half left. See what kind of damage control I can do if I don't wreck. That's the problem. I always wreck with these guys. Because, I, see, I cannot seem to get these AI and predict what they're doing. Like, online I can, you know, predict real people a little more because I understand how real people actually hit lines on a motocross track but these guys right here I mean they're just stupid these guys on here these AI I don't know what who put the line there it seems like it's probably one of the fastest ways around the track but it's just a terrible terrible uh, line choice and so I ought to know by now where they're going but I don't I still just it just amazes me because it just doesn't make any sense. I think the producers or designers would have done a better, uh, would have been good to do a better design of like having two lines that could be taking. But the AI all seem to take one exact line. I mean, they didn't come up with two. They could have come up with two and have them randomly choose it you know, each jump, each section, and have it, you know, a randomized generator for which line they're going to choose, and then they pick that rut, pick that berm, whatever, and go into it. That would have been the way to do it, in my opinion. I don't know, I'm not a game designer, uh, so I don't know how much work that would have been, if that would have been feasible, I don't know. I just know the single line racing stuff is little crazy. In 22nd, this is 
This is ridiculous, this track. <laughs> I'm not gonna do good this round. It is gonna be terrible. Well, I'm surprised that didn't reset me. Like, generally, on mo a lot of the tracks I race, man, I feel like I can take off and leave these AI, but this track right here, I just, I can't do it, and I can't stay on the track, I can't keep from wrecking, this is just, this is just not a good, just not a good day. Well, Tixie A1, at least they weren't real, you know, like, way far ahead of me here. But I did finish last. Third in the first moto. 22nd in the second moto. Last place. Last. So embarrassing. And I was 18 seconds back on the AIs. Embarrassing. So I finished 10th overall with a third and a last, which produced zero points. I wonder if whoever got 21st got zero. Yep, yep. Get them and got zero points too. Okay, just making sure the points were like real accurate. Well, now I'm sitting at 8th in the championship. I dropped, so whatever. But this was part 4, and hopefully by part 5 or 6, I'll have all the new stuff installed, broadcasting on a higher quality with a higher, uh, with a nice webcam and uh, better internet and everything else. So, But if you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, whatever, thank you for joining in. Check back uh, in a few days for part 5 of the MXGP2 MX2 Career Championship. Thank you.